How you guys doing out there? You guys ready for a rock flipping adventure? Well, how about a rock crushing adventure? I want you guys to come and join me, Coulter Young, and I want the invitation of Coulter Young to come all the way down to Mexico to a person that he's met that has got a lot of material that he cannot recover as fine gold. And he's got a lot of magnetites and stuff in there, and we're gonna help him retrieve his gold out of these magnetites and stuff, but first, we gotta crush up all this material. Now, our friend Easy, he's actually built this jaw crusher, and I wanna tell you what, man, it'll take a fist-sized rock. But uh, one of the things I just noticed a minute ago is that I probably have to help him get this opened up a little bit more because it, I don't think it's gonna crush right, but I'm gonna get this started here. It's a two-handed start job. Now I've got to do a little adjustment here. Alright, we're running this through just repeatedly and repeatedly now. I push everything out, but before it go out, I have to skip from here. So in here, all around here, because in here it will be grounded, 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 until he make mesh up to here. The other one, it just has like a cross, and it has to be like a, a little thicker canals. For the material from here, I start jumping in here, and every time I want to jump one side to another one, is when it gets uh, crushed again. Crushed again. See, this one goes like this. Now, how do I get this in here like this? Well, with this one. This right, one, that's I'm your, pushing it and pushing it and pushing it for more that's mass your mass. But to get in here, to put all these together, man, it's hot. Alright, how you guys doing? We're back here. I know it's a lot later now. We've had a little bit of issues getting the, this other grinder here. I don't know exactly what we're going to call this thing. Uh, easy built it. It's a crusher. But as you've seen in the other little video there, it's those two plates going together. So what we have, we have these three samples here. We're just going to use these three little samples up here to start out. We have our bucket of cons here that we crushed through the other one. But um, we're going to get this thing fired up and we're going to just drop these through uh, so we can get the adjustments just right on here. All right. One, two, three. Easy's coming in here to help get some adjustments on here. Here comes the first little sample. You're gonna put it and you're gonna kick it. And you tell me. Yeah, I'm gonna put a pan down there. Take it going all the way up. Now we have to get Coulter's wet separator all set up. Yeah, like this. Five gallons in one hour, maybe faster. But right now we're running it super duper slow to keep everything looking real nice. We don't want to get any losses. Pull to run on the wet separator. That's what happened right there. It was too pulled over on me. Want to get a shot in here? Or can you see it? Oh, you can see it pretty good on your camera. Oh, yeah. So, we got all the magnetics over here on this side. Pay materials over here. So, there's the magnetic bucket and the pay bucket. Let's just take a good look at this. He's got levels on there. 
put three levels on there. Four, but one's Four. covered up. <laughs> oh, it's it's a, yeah, it's on the back end. It's covered up by the the hopper unit, the separator. Colta did pretty good here, man. He's got those little round hoops down there. Those hold on to your pumps, your build pumps. Spots on the side here for your speed controllers. He has one other speed controller right there. But this is R&D testing down in Mexico. We're at a secret location. Okay, let's check this thing out here. Alright. Oh, uh, culture, there's no water coming. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's going. I was like, man, that is the smallest trickle, but it works. But it is. Let's go out to Kaling's. Well, I've got to say, man, Ezekiel is very creative. He built his own kiln. He built his own tongs for even the bigger crucibles and even a way to pour the small ones. Every bit of this was handmade by Ezekiel. That's pretty damn cool. You got a lever to set down on. Here's the big kiln. We're gonna take this crucible out. Oh shit, losing more of the. Don't worry. Oh. Okay, well, we're gonna clean this up. We gotta be smoking Mexican cigars in this scene. <laughs> we're gonna say, What? <laughs> yeah. Alright, where's our material? It's right here, isn't it? This is it? Uh, nope. It's this stuff. All right, guys. We are at our last day of able to do anything out here because tomorrow morning we have to catch a bus for about a, anywhere from a five to seven hour bus ride, depending on how many stops these guys have to make to get us back to Mexico City so we can catch a flight on Friday morning. Well, this is the material right here that we ran through all the crushers and all of the mills here that Ezekiel has made himself. And right now it's time to bake off all these uh, sulfides and what's that other word we're looking for? Pyrites. Pyrites, yes, that's that word. We've ran everything through Colchis machines and pulled out all the iron, got all the iron out of it. So right now what we need to do is crack the pyrites and we're gonna get this puppy fired up and uh, pour this stuff in here. And hopefully the wind keeps going the way it's going and doesn't blow any of this bad stuff back into the house. So the idea here is we're going to drive off the sulfur atom and make uh, turn the pyrite into iron oxide. So stay tuned. We're going to we're going to grind it up one more time and run it through the roly poly, pull out all the all the iron again, and smelt the rest of the stuff. Hopefully we get a little button of gold to show you guys from all of our hard work from these mines. All right. What do you say? We, I'm gonna uh, get this off of here. Get her lit first. Yep. I don't want to get dirt on the bottom. And matches. Right here. Ah, nope, that's only one. And it's not even a match. We got the, the safety matches. Nope, I got. Yeah. I'm gonna do the middle of one, two. Mm hmm. All right, give it a little gas. My man. Shut it off? Well, it was blew it out. No, it didn't. It's still going. Oh. 
How you doing? We've got our materials all ran through the mills and we've got it all crushed down really super fine here. We have 60 grams of our pay material right here. We're going to drop this into the kiln and we're going to bring the kiln up to 900 degrees or 450 degrees Celsius. And once we reach that point of 900 degrees or 450 Celsius, we're going to bring in our flux. Now our flux is a consist of uh, made up of two grams of lye. 15 to 18 grams of silica and 10 grams of borax. We're going to pour that right on top after we get this to 900 degrees or 450 Celsius. Then we're going to bring this kiln up really slow to 1980 degrees or 900 degrees Celsius. And that way we don't cook off any of our gases or gas off any of our pay material, anything that's good, our values. And uh, we can actually hopefully. Pull this thing out when this looks like liquid sun, no spider webbing or anything like that. That's how we'll know it's done. When it looks like the liquid sun, we can pull this out and then we can pour it in our crucible. And uh, hopefully we'll have a nice little button at the bottom here. Now we're not expecting to see like a big huge button out of 60 grams. Now if we got this done right and got some really good material, we'll be lucky if we see an eighth of a gram to maybe a quarter of a gram of gold. But that tells us that that this pr material that we're running is definitely worth going back after and mining. We've brought our material so up to 900 degrees. Five, now it's time to add the flux. The yeah, Once the flux is in there, we're going to take this up to 1980 degrees for about four hours. Okay. Time for a cerveza. Right, right. It's been a little over four hours now at 1980 degrees. So let's get this poured into this nice warm mold. Here comes that gold. All right, you guys, time to let it cool. And then we'll give her a drop and see what we got. Where are you gonna stand when you pour it? I'm gonna just come right into here and go. Alright guys, moment of truth, here comes the drop. <laughs> Don't even hit that without glasses. All right, let me zoom in there. We've got us a button here. How hot is it? 
So, let's see where, oh where, oh where is my hand? You guys see that right there? There's our little bead of gold. There is our little bead of gold. There it is. We're going to have to get the scale out and weigh it, but we do have a BB of gold. Yeah, it looks kind of silvery from all the lights around in here, but oh, there we go. Getting zoomed in. Back some more of that stuff. Now look at that you guys, 0.3. The nickel's five grams. So we have 0.3 grams of gold out of 60 grams of material. Not too bad, that's worth chasing. Our main goal coming to Mexico was to teach them how to use magnets instead of dangerous chemicals to recover fine gold. I think this was a success. Thanks for watching and see you in our next adventure.